hey, hey, guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic, and we have finally, finally made it to level 52, and that unlocked a number of missions, actually. Surprisingly enough, I think they added some additional missions just to make things more interesting. I think, see down here at the trophies, they added these additional missions here. They added breach and tench roach and caressius the peacock bass predator carp buffalo and sucker some of them were already there but the saltwater trophies that's new too yeah all of these are now available so these missions you can get look at that 21 370 cash once you get to that point yeah i'm only two levels from getting to the uh blue crab island we're almost there guys we are on a different mission right now. This is the newest of the fish monster missions. This is called the Weeping Willow Stomach Ground Bait. Now, what we're going to be doing is going after something called the Colossus Carp. But it, like most of the other missions, we have to get a certain type of bait or lure. And this, uh, it's actually a ground bait. But Weeping Willow Fisheries is being terrorized by a monstrous Colossus Carp. To trick this giant into biting, you'll have to catch some unique carp from these lakes and use their intestines as ground bait. Well, that's disgusting enough. But this guy's by far and away is the most challenging of the monster missions I've seen thus far. Some of them haven't been too bad. I mean, snagging things, no big deal. But check this out. We have to catch and keep a unique common carp, a unique mirror carp, a unique leather carp, a unique ghost carp, a unique grass carp, and a unique hybrid F1 carp. I'm not even sure if I've caught one of those. We have got to get seven different types of uniques. And that's going to probably take a while. This is going to be more than one episode without a doubt. But we are going to see what we can do about getting maybe one or two here if we can. If nothing else, we can at least get set up and catch something. But we're going to go ahead back to the map. It looks like the peak time is actually closer to 1 or 2 p.m. And let's check the night time here. Yeah, the peak is really, really large at night. And that's going to be the prime time for the carp, guys. But you can catch carp pretty well most of, you know, all day long. But the peak times seem to be a lot better just a lot better overall so we're gonna go ahead and go fishing here I believe if I check the map here yes I am set up to go to Willow Lake now I'm gonna probably have to relocate when I go for the F1 hybrid and I might have to relocate for some of the others I don't know I'm gonna have to really look at the map and see where I've placed markers see where the best place to go but we're going to Willow Lake to start off with because I know the monsters are there I've caught quite a few very large versions of carp leather and ghost and all that I'm not sure if I've gotten any unique yet though honestly I can't remember hell I've already put an episode out <laughs> you get kind of caught up in your life you know let's see wow this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. So let's take a look at the map here real quick. It looks like other people are already working hard at it. Okay, that's where I, I have caught a unique hybrid car. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Somebody gave me a marker for one. That's what it was. So we can get one there. And a unique golden tench. We don't need that. That's good. I may have to go after that in, the, in a future episode. I'd like to... Okay, we've gotten a lot of things here. Now we've got a unique grass carp. I don't think that's on the list. There's a trophy mirror carp. Trophy common carp. Trophy wells catfish. Okay, I did catch a unique leather carp here. That's just a marker. We can probably get rid of this one. Yep, 
Yeah, we need all the markers we can get. Trophy wells. Trophy ghost. Trophy leather. Okay, most of them were trophies. Let's see what we got over here. No fish data. That's just marking the hole. Yeah, I usually use the markers to mark holes. Another unique grass carp marker. And over here, unique leather carp. Okay. Some of these were gifted to me from my viewers. So I didn't catch all these fish, trust me. <laughs> um, well, since we're at Willow Lake, let's go over here to this location and see if we can't get at least a leather carp to start it off with. We do have unique grass carp on the list. I couldn't remember if we did or didn't. Good thing, because I have like two markers for those. Now, I did spend some time gearing things up. I may make an attempt to do some ground bait. <laughs> I'm not my forte yet. I haven't mastered it or even gotten good at it, <laughs> to be perfectly honest. But I think if this guy doesn't mind me being here, level 62 that he is, I'm going to stay right here. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is go to my inventory and try to put some of this ground bait together if I can. Now, I've got quite a bit of stuff here. Hoping I can remember how to mix this. And supposedly you can save these. I don't know exactly how you do that, but we're going to give it a try anyway. Now, if I remember correctly, we're supposed to put the Big Riverine Bremer. Now that's generally something for obviously Bream. I think it's about 20% of that. Then we put the Carp Arrival in here. And I think that's at 60% or as close as we can get to it. There we go. Apparently we can get all the way there. We don't need the Catfish Destroyer, but we do need some aromas, and I believe we need this X Flavor Supreme, <laughs> and I think it was like 1.6%, or no, not 1.6%, what was it? Yeah, actually it was. Well, 1.96, I think we're going to have to go with that. Then 2D Fruity. And then this giant octopus supreme. I think you, we're just getting as close to 2% as we can. And then we need to add, I believe it was hemp corn. And we want 5% of that, I believe. And oil cake pea. Five percent of that. That's that's probably good, actually, right there. We're gonna go ahead and mix that. Now we've got an empty recipe. I don't know how in the world we changed the name of that, but there's got to be a way. Oh, here it is. I believe it said it was Sunny Carp. So we'll try that, see how it does. And there's another one that's supposed to be really good for cloudy weather, which I believe it's sunny, so we want to use this. Let's go ahead and go back in there. I am going to go to a private room because I don't want to disturb that guy. Yeah, ground bait is strictly experimental for me, guys. I am not good at it. I've only just started using it. We're going to go ahead advance time to 1 p.m. 
for two reasons. It's a peak and then another reason we can see better. And yeah, we're going to get a carp rod out or a rod pot out. Now, let me take a look here at my inventory. Now, I've got a few things already set up on these. I've got two carp rods. I got the Mega Tuber 12 foot by 9 inch and the Deep Horizon 13 foot by 9 inch. Uh, this one is only 35 pounds. This one goes to 58.4. Uh, I've got pretty good size hooks on each and if I'm not mistaken I've got the tiger nuts on them as I think it's a tiger nut yeah I'm actually going to probably switch one of these to something a little different I've got a bunch of different types of boilies pellets pop-up things I do remember though that these sunflower oil cakes were pretty popular. They fit off that pretty good. And now we're going to see what we can do about the ground bait. I hope I did this right because it's kind of confusing at times. It's not going to look like I can't use these. So apparently you can't do that. So I'm going to need to get, let me check my inventory here. It's confusing what you can and cannot use on these darn things. Maybe you can on here. I don't know. We'll have to see. But let's go ahead and see what I've got in my inventory here. Yeah, I only have the flat feeders, which is not going to work. But these, let's see if the closed feeders do any good. What is, no. Well, I have to use flat feeders on here. But the ground bait doesn't work. <laughs> well, can you make something a little different then? I don't know. Well, we're gonna have to. We'll have to just try a few things. Well, let's see what we can do with this. Maybe we can put them in there. Because we do have some closed and open feeders. Yeah, this one. Let's try this. Yeah, and will it work with the ground bait? That's the question. Yes, it will. So we can use that. Stez is too light for the rod. Of course, of course it is. I'm not worried about that. We can't put boilies on it, but we can put sweet peas still too light let's try this one is that too heavy nope that's good that's good and we're gonna run into the same problem let's see if we've got any feeders in here got cage feeders nope Uh, we only have flat feeders, of course. Yeah, guys, I am not real sure about some of this stuff, honestly. I thought I had it figured out, but... Well, let's put this one on here, and we'll go ahead and throw that in there. I know it's a little light, but should be able to cast it far enough to make it work not sure what to do about these carp rods might take a look at the ground bait yet again see if there's something that I can put together that will work yeah I'm not guys I'm gonna need a little help on how to to make it for these things I'm gonna be able to use them but I think I'm just gonna end up going back to using a Good old-fashioned sinker for now but yeah I cannot get it I cannot figure it out yeah we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got for these two I don't even gather to know or say I understand how to do the ground bait stuff just yet definitely need to do some research on it 
Well, anyway, we're going to go in there and see how we do with what we have. Now, this one does have some ground bait on it, if I'm not mistaken. No, it does not. We're going to just toss this right out there. Any of those spots look like they'd probably be good. Now, this one's going to have the peas and the ground bait. Be interesting to see how well it does. I'll just get to see if that. Ooh, I forgot to change that one. Don't think I want mayflies on there. Let's try the. Let's just try the semolina balls. getting our first bite it's off our carp rod here just want to be sure he's on there oh he's on there tiger nut boy at least damn these things always do well guys he's not a bad size I but this is a the Mega Chuber is only 35 pounds, so it's going to be a little bit of a fight. In fact, I might want to take the tension down a little bit. Well, he is giving me a bit of a fight. Damn, fella. Yeah, I think as soon as I earn enough cash, I'm getting another big carp rod. Let's see how big this guy is. There's a trophy. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Tiger nuts. Tiger nut pop up boilies, 8 inch. It's a six odd hook, so I was hoping for a big fish off of that. And we're getting plenty of action. So this is the first one with the ground bait. And this is actually off the semolina balls. Now this is not a big fish. This is probably a regular size. It's grass carp. You can already see that. So he went for the, the recipe. I don't know why it says empty recipe. Semolina balls for aught. Yeah, let's increase that hook size. Take it back up to six. Actually, we might. Can we? No, we can't use the carp hooks here. Yeah, let's try an eight aught. Just. Let's just see. Let's just see how it does. Yeah, I'm hoping that when we get all that, all the uh, unique carp, that we're going to, when we put that ground bait together, it'll just do it. Hope I don't have to mix it because <laughs> I really, like I said, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, we're going to throw this over here. This is sunflower oil cake sinking pellets. Last time I believe I caught a unique off of that. Come on. We need us a unique here of some kind. We don't care what it is at this point. All right. I think we got this guy this time. All right. What do we got? I think it's a ghost carp. Yep.
So the grass carp went for it, and so do the ghost carp. So that's a good sign. Looks like it's working. We're getting nibbles all across the board here, so... Okay, number two is just hellbent. I think this might be another grass carp. Yep. Well, okay, which one? Let's try number... F well, this was the best one to select. Looks like this is the biggest one. Maybe. Might not need the float rod if we keep this up. This is the sunflower oil cake sinking pellets. Let's see what we got here, guys. Looks like a leather carp. It's a trophy. Damn. Please don't give up, fish. He gave up. Damn it. No, he didn't. No, he did not. He did not give up. He just swam towards me. Put too much slack. Okay, this guy's big too. Just don't know how big. I think it might be either a grass carp or a ghost carp. I just see him under the water and he's kind of light colored. Nope, he's a common carp. Trophy common carp. <laughs> well, I tell you, if we were doing a trophy carp mission, we'd be rocking it. But so far, no uniques, guys. Told you, this is going to be a tough mission. Very tough. Very, very tough and time-consuming, I'm sure. But the advantage to this... So we're going to get a lot of XP and a lot of cash while we're here, without a doubt. Yeah, this spot is really, really good. I haven't really found any that's been as good except for right over there. There's a pretty good spot over there as well. But most of them are in this lake that I've run across. Oh, there they go again. It's either all or nothing, guys. That's the way it seems to be. All or nothing. Okay, this, this is a big one. Most likely a trophy at least. I don't think it's a unique, though. Yeah. Nope, he's just a mirror carp. Just a larger version of the common. Okay, looks like this one is determined. And we've got one on that other one. Okay, let's see what we got here. This may be decent, but I don't think it's unique. It's a grass carp. Trophy grass carp. Man, I am getting the trophies. Too bad they don't count. <laughs> yeah, this is a whole new style of fishing. I have... I mean, I've caught carp in the past, but here in the States, we just don't fish for them like they do in Europe. And... Things like the ground baits and all that, not something we I've ever even heard of much growing up. Uh, I did when I got older, but I understood it was people who were going after carp used it. And since I wasn't going after carp, 
I really didn't get into it so much, but now I kind of get the, the challenge of it, trying to see if you can attract more fish with it. Now, a spot rod, that I never heard of. I don't think I can get that for... Well, I think I can get it, but they're expensive as I'll get out. And obviously, since I've never even heard of it, wouldn't know how to even use it. So I think I'm going to need to check out some kind of tutorial or something to see how to use it. Because I do want to get some experience with it. Looks like it would be kind of fun to try. Okay. It's like nothing and then all all at one time. <laughs> yeah, I think we got a grass carp here. Nope, common. We do have one off of that rod. Aha! We may have us our first unique. Oh, if he's pulling on this, this well. Jeez, it's got to be. Or a really big trophy. This is like a 50 pound, 58.6 pound rod or something like that. 57 pound test line. If he's giving me that much resistance. I should be able to muscle even a unique in with this one. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it's unique. Need to get at least one in this episode would be nice. Holy crap, he is taking me for a run here. He is not one to give up this fight. Let's see what he is. I think it's a grass carp, guys. Yep, there we go. There's our unique, at least the first one. That's exactly what was caught, caught on the last time. The strawberry pop-up boilies. They are just really popular with these guys. I don't know why or what the deal is, but I'm not arguing. Let's take a look at this guy. He's... Let's see. You can't really get him in the good sun here. There we go. Let me get a picture of him if I can. Oh yeah, that's nice. Nice fish. Very nice fish. It's a very nice fish. Uh, must be behind too many trees to get really good lighting here. I am going to go ahead and get a picture. Okay, that's the first of the uniques. That's one down. And we got something on this line. Don't think this is any kind of unique. Another grass carp. Seems like they are seriously biting today let's go let's throw this one over there too yeah I don't think we're going to repeat that again here guys this will probably have to be the last fish for this episode I am kind of curious how much cash we're pulling in I don't think we're doing too bad
leather carp. All right, not bad for the first episode into these missions, considering how tough they are. Well, let me take a quick look here, guys. See what my fish keeper. Yeah, I'm already at twenty thousand. Alright guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Panic Classic. And we're going to continue on trying to get these uniques as much as we can here. Anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.